Well, good afternoon. Well, it's great, uh, great to see everyone here today, and I want to uh, especially thank uh, some of our students for showing up. Uh, it's uh, a great, uh, great to have a part of you, all of you in the STEM program, uh, uh, and uh, are participating, many of you. So, uh, really delighted to have you and our faculty and staff here at El Centro College. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. And I'm uh, 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 Chancellor Sharp, uh, uh, particularly uh, grateful for you taking time to join us, uh, you and your team here uh, at uh, what I think is a really an, an important event. You know. We, uh, we, we can't pick up a newspaper today without reading about the need for more individuals with the types of knowledge, skills, and ability that we need to grow our economy, to build a stronger workforce, and to really uh, make uh, uh, the, the quality of life in our society better for all. And I can't think of a better way to do that in partnering on a program that helps grow the number of engineers, not only in, uh, in, in the state of Texas, but right here in Dallas. And so we're, uh, we're grateful for the partnership, uh, which is the Texas A&M Chevron uh, Engineering Academy uh, that is really designed to do things that we've been talking about but have never done, and that's to create clear, direct pathways from community colleges into engineering program at Texas A&M University. Uh, and uh, what an opportunity, I think, for our students but, and, and Texas A&M, but, uh, but even more for our great state. And uh, thank you for your leadership. And I want to especially thank uh, uh, Chevron for, for your support of this effort and, the, uh, and, and really uh, helping us address what I think, in fact, it is a problem that we have to get more people into these pipelines in order to meet their needs, and I greatly appreciate that. We, uh, I, I want to just uh, particularly thank uh, 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 Chancellor uh, uh, Sharp, uh, you and uh, uh, again your your team, but also uh, uh, Dr. Catherine Banks, who is the uh, uh, vice, uh, vice vice chancellor and dean of Texas A and M Engineering, and the uh, and as well as uh, uh, Sarik uh, Yusavzi uh, uh, with uh, with Chevron for helping make this a uh, reality. We thank you for all for taking time to join us today. And again, I want to uh, uh, thank you for your leadership and what I think is one of a, a, a very remarkable partnership. Congratulations and thanks to all of you. And I'm, at this time, I'm going to turn it over to uh, the Chancellor of Texas A&M University, uh, Chancellor John Sharp. Thank you very much for having us here. We are here to announce something that does not exist anywhere else in this old world. And it is going to be a wonderful program, not only for Texas A&M, but for El Centro as well. Before I go any further, there's a couple of special people I'd like to introduce to you. Uh, one is the chairman of our audit committee, the member of the Board of, the Re Board of Regents from Texarkana, Judy Morgan, right here. <clears throat> And Governor Abbott just appointed our very newest regent uh, from Dallas County, Bill Mayholmes, right here. <laughs> We're happy to have both of them here as, as well. Uh, we at Texas A&M University are here to solve problems. Uh, that's what land-grant universities do. And the two problems that we're trying to solve here is one, we, every president of the United States 
that any of us have ever known has said we're falling behind in engineers. We don't have enough engineers. China's producing too many engineers. Singapore's producing too many engineers. We better do something about it. Dean Banks has set Texas A&M on a path uh, to have 25,000 engineers uh, by the year 2025. In order to do that, we have got to find young men and women all over this state uh, that to, to put into the engineering path and expose to, to engineering. Uh, we have to have, we know that we're going to have to have a million STEM graduates uh, by the year 2025. The second problem we have is there's a lots of very talented young men and women, whether they be in Dallas or Houston or wherever, uh, that may not want to leave home or can't leave home, may have a family situation where they need to hang around the house for a couple of years, or don't have the financial means to go to College Station and pay for a dorm room and all of that, and would like to do it here. What this program is uh, doesn't exist, as I said, anywhere else in the country. What this is is that, is that you will apply for engineering at Texas A&M while you're taking your courses, uh, the other courses here at, uh, <coughs> while, you're, while you're taking the other courses uh, at El Centro. You will at that point be accepted into Texas A&M. People asked Bank, Dean Banks some question, said, well, well, after I finish my two years of engineering, uh, am I going to be accepted in A&M? You are already an Aggie at that point. You simply are moving to College Station to finish it. You will, you, the instructions that you will be given are A&M professors and A&M instructors that will be here in Dallas teaching you. Same folks that would be in College Station are going to be teaching you. But we're coming to you instead of you necessarily having to, having to come to us. And so you will have access to, depending on how you rank it, the third, the fifth, the ninth, that's about the different ranks depending on the category, best engineering school in the United States of America. And we are very pleased to be here and do that. Uh, could not have happened without Chevron. Uh, Shark and, and, and his company uh, in San Francisco have just uh, come to the plate with, uh, with a ton of money in order to let this happen and we are extremely grateful to them and we'll get to him in a minute. But if we could, I'd like to introduce the lady that began this process, the Dean of Engineering at Texas A&M University, uh, the best Dean of Engineering that exists on planet Earth, Kathy Banks. Howdy. Howdy. It's great to be here. It's such an honor to be here to celebrate such a, a significant event in um, the history of of our institution and El Centro as well. This idea to bring Texas A&M to El Centro is a new one. This idea of having true co-enrollment programs rather than just have a traditional transfer program. This is not a traditional transfer program. This is not distance ed. This is not streaming courses here. This is Texas A&M faculty trained in College Station moving here not only teaching courses, developing academic success programs, advising students, pulling together the cohort of students that, that will be the engineering academy at El Centro. That is really what the heart of this program is. And what we hope is that the engineering academy here will be a family, and the family moves to College Station after um, two years of work. The courses that you'll take here at El Centro will be math, science, literature, um, any liberal arts. We will have the, the faculty from Texas A&M Engineering teach you the engineering courses, freshman and sophomore. You'll be taking the exact same program here that our students are taking in College Station. In addition, we will be able to enroll the students in this program in all of the activities that we have in College Station. That means internships. That means connection with um, different industries. That means some of the programs such as entrepreneurship, some of the programs such as project management. The law school now is partnering with Texas A&M Engineering to have an integrated law and engineering degree. So again, your students will be eligible for that. So we're very excited about the program. We can't wait to get started. And we have a group to thank for that, and that is Chevron. 
This program would not be possible without the generosity of Chevron. And Shark Yuseve, who is the Vice President of University Relations, is here today to give Chevron's perspective on this new program. Okay, I've tried this in two different locations, and now that I'm back in my old town of, uh, old hometown of Dallas, I'll try it again. Howdy. Howdy! All right, you're halfway there already. Um, you know, it's a delight for me to uh, come here, and, uh, you know, we've been in two other, uh, made two other stops before we stopped here, and during the conversation we had uh, on the plane, the question was asked, why a company like Chevron, which is headquartered in California, would be uh, involved in the uh, now known as the Texas A&M Chevron Engineering Academies. Uh, we are involved because we think this is a seminal moment in the history of education uh, in, in America and perhaps the world. It is a game changer. Uh, it's a game changer because of several reasons. Number one, in our country, as John Sharp mentioned, the gap between the demand for engineers and the supply of engineers is widening. That is, according to the President's Council on Jobs and Competitiveness, the single biggest impediment to America continuing at the forefront of innovation and technology. So this is extremely important to us. Uh, although we are headquartered in California, we're a worldwide company, and we have to innovate in order to compete and to perform. And there is one truth that has come out in study after study after study, that you can't cost cut your way to prosperity and you can't spend your way to prosperity. What you have to do is out innovate the competition. And how does innovation happen? Innovation happens from ingenuity and ingenuity comes from diversity. Diversity and inclusion and ingenuity are linked. And as we look at our profession of engineering, I'm a chemical engineer, a very proud member of the class of 74 uh, of Texas A&M, and also a 40-year veteran of Chevron. I ran our global marketing business across uh, 80 countries before I took this job. And it became very, very clear that the community colleges, particularly El Centro College, which I got to know through my good friend Bill Mahomes and from my two-year stay in Dallas when I worked for Caltex, a subsidiary of Chevron in Las Colinas, was there is an unbelievable treasure trove of talent, talent like yourselves, that make up the student body of El Centro College. For various reasons, uh, you know, you uh, cannot, they decided not to leave home, but this will provide you an access to the top engineering institution in the state of Texas and quite possibly in terms of undergraduate educa education uh, in, in America. And that is why, as an employer of 10,000 people in Chevron, that we rely on for their diverse talents, their ability for innovation, and the incredible talent that we find resident, incredibly diverse talent in, that we find resident in the college, uh, El Centro College, that's why we're here. Uh, and as I said, this is a, an inflection point in higher education and engineering. We want to be part of it, and I look forward to seeing many of you in the ranks of the Chevron Engineering Academy, and hopefully as one of my future colleagues at Chevron. Thank you. And now I'd like to turn it over to Dr. Karen Watson, Executive Vice President and Provost of Texas A&M. Thank you very much. I want to briefly say that we are honored to get to form this partnership with El Centro. Um, it is very important that we will have our Texas A&M University faculty involved, but the El Centro faculty will also be very involved in this program. And it's very important for the success that these two faculty are going to work together, not just two people, a whole bunch of faculty members are going to work together to make this work for the students in an excellent fashion. And that's one of the main reasons we're here, is because you have that kind of quality here. And so we can count on it when you're ready to come full time to Texas A&M University. I also want to say that our College of Engineering is ready for you to come up and join us. Um, you bring a perspective, a life experience, 
an idea about how to solve big problems that we need. And so we are looking forward to when you come full-time to Texas A&M, but wait a couple of years and then you can come full-time. And finally, I want to say that this couldn't have been done without Chevron. It's easy to say there's a good idea, let's just do it, but we all know that we're fully loaded and we're busy as we are and trying to figure out a way to do a new innovative program is very difficult. And it would not be possible if it weren't for the great contributions by Chevron. So thank you very much for that. Thank you. Okay. We are about to do an unveiling, so I'm gonna move this a little forward in a minute or so. But I, on behalf of uh, El Centro, I do want to thank uh, Lisa Terrio and Greg Morris, our two executive deans that partnered with our friends at Texas A&M to make today possible. And I also like to recognize Sandra Fleming, our academic vice president, who provided assistance in this area as well. My name is Dr. Jose Adamas, and I'm the president here at El Centro. So pleased as I stood in the back watching so many students come in, so many faculty members come in, so many staff members of El Centro here. There's a buzz around campus, I must tell you, our colleagues at a and about this uh, relationship with this university and the partnering that we will, uh, we will make a reality and bring to fruition and be very successful for the one reason that we exist, which is for our students. Thank you. <laughs> 